Next, I want to talk about this. There's six newsletters that for on chain that I highly recommend everyone subscribe to. Um, these are really good. Okay. So these are not only six websites, but these are six places that put out weekly reports or weekly like newsletters. And I follow the glass node and the crypto quant ones pretty closely. They're amazing resources. And every week, CryptoQuant kind of stopped doing it. But Glassnode puts out a video every week for the most part. Sometimes they kind of get, you know, they skip a week here and there. They put out a video that goes through the newsletter and explains it on the charts. They're so good. So they kind of look at like the long term and stuff. And all the on-chain data that's happening. All this, all the charts that you can't really get access to on Glassnode and CryptoQuant because they're hidden behind these paywalls. They they just show them on there and they talk about them. And then they break them down for you. So I kind of rank these in order. Which I totally just saw my numbering skills here. <laughs> one, three, two, four. Okay. It's because I probably changed one. But I rank these in order of like my, my favorite. Um, and which ones that I think are the most helpful. So obviously the first one is Glassnode and below each of these, I put in the websites as well, but I recommend following the Twitter accounts too for these because they literally just post on their, um, on their Twitter accounts, the, the charts and everything for free. And actually, if you look in our discord under the on chain, like under the analyst section under on chain, most of those Twitter accounts are, you can find on there. Okay. The Glassnode's number one, they put out a weekly video and I believe it's on Mondays or sun or Thursdays, something like that. I get, I can't remember. I get mixed up. Highly recommend watching that video every week. It's so good. Sentiment, which is a newer platform that's kind of coming out. They're getting, they're pretty hungry. So they're always posting really good stuff on Twitter. Their discord's really good too. And their insights that they post out are daily. Uh, really good website. Nansen's also very relatively new. And I think it's made by the same people as Dune because they have like the same website set up, same font, same style and everything. But Nansen's kind of gotten bigger recently too. So it's a pretty good newsletter. I actually haven't seen their newsletter yet, but when I was coming up with this list, I um, subscribed to it. So we'll see. Mazari is Mazari. You know, it's it's pretty good. This was actually probably the, the best for just everyone. But they also do like um, NFTs and Web3 and everything. And then Dune is... It's good. They give you a lot of the data, but it's pretty raw. And that's what I wrote there, raw. So it's pretty raw. Like they don't really tell you how to interpret the data very much. Um, but it's still pretty good. And then CryptoQuant, which is one of my favorite websites, is down here at the bottom. And that's because they stopped publishing their newsletter. I think it was earlier this year. So it made me pretty sad. However, their YouTube, I think their YouTube's still pretty good. Let's see. No, see, they, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. But their Twitter account is really good. The Twitter account is amazing. They, they post on-chain metrics on here all the time. And then they do post stuff on their website that's pretty good as well. Um, some really good charts and stuff on here. So, you know, their Twitter's pretty good, but unfortunately they kind of stopped with the, um, the newsletter and stuff. So these are six sources that I really recommend checking for on chain. The other one was Blockware or Blockwave, Blockware. But, um, unfortunately they stopped. They stopped, um, putting out a weekly newsletter last I looked. Blockware Intelligence, Intelligence Dashboard Research Publications, 2023 Market Forecast, Pershing Power under Bitcoin. Well, the guy that was mainly behind this, um, you know, Ben, oh, it's color scheme. It's because of my, my things on, this uh, nighttime things on. Yeah, we'll have to go through this. Um, I'll give this a look through. Actually, I haven't, what is this? 
If they're into mining, no wonder they don't have any money. The time to mine Bitcoin is now? Ooh. <laughs> okay. Are they going to sell you the miner as well? <laughs> purchasing power under Bitcoin standard? There's no purchasing power. Okay. So I think that's it for, for those those six. And I'm going to post the links and stuff. Um, this is all going to go to a video. And I'll post the links under it and everything. But I do recommend... I'll post the Glassnode one in the chat right now. I'll post the Sansomit one in here too. Nansen one. And all the others. Not the Crypto Quant one because it's outdated. Whoops. There you go. And then follow them on... Follow these on Twitter too. They're pretty good. Um, last thing I want to talk about is what Santiment when I was doing this, um, Santiment posted something pretty interesting, you know, they're posting this thing about MVRV and the Z score and everything, you know, MVRV, you know, in Twitter in in crypto in general, crypto users are very fickle, right? They're always on to like the next, next thing. Okay. So, and oftentimes it's to like kind of fit their agenda. So remember all these things about like the cycle extended cycle and there's always something new right to fit this agenda of whatever they're trying to believe in right mvrv was really big like i don't know it was like seven or eight months ago um actually it was kind of new at that time too so that's why it was really big but then after there was a time where it got really big because it was kind of pushing the agenda that we were at the bottom but i think most people were just reading mvrv wrong <laughs> so MVRV is market value over realized value. And it essentially tells you the value of a coin relative to um, other coins. Um, there's actually a pretty good write up here uh, on this other site. It's an on chain indicator for the purpose of setting aggregate investor behaviors as price moves to and from their cost basis. Um, so MV is in market value, RV is in realized value. And down here, the MVRV ratio allows you to gauge both actual profitability versus loss on the network, as well as gauge the inherent degree of fear and greed that comes with it. So there's this value, um, and because these are deviations, I'm not going to go into it, but you know, there's deviations from because it's a mean reversion. So when there's deviations, um, whenever it's one or two deviations. That's where the z-score comes in if anyone is familiar with statistics or in medicine um we actually use a lot of this stuff for osteoporosis interesting um that's where i initially knew what a z-score was um because it's just a part of statistics so if it has an mvrv of two um versus like minus two right minus two or minus three is usually like the start of a bull run if i remember correctly so why jay are you yelling at us about all this boring nerd shit, right so because Santiment posted this six hours ago saying that crypto market caps have flushed downward over the weekend and into Monday. Bitcoin and ETH are holding up somewhat, but all coins have been hit particularly hard. Our model, though, indicates that several projects are now at historical pain points where bounces occur. So they looked at this MVRV and the Z score for many of these coins, and they're seeing that a lot of these are nearing the bottoms. And it would be a good time for them to kind of reverse up. This is not really an, you know, indication that we know we're at some bottom because, you know, these models are built in a way based on previous data, right? They're not a way to look at future data. However, I do recommend checking this out. Uh, it is fairly interesting. And MVRV is a, a pretty cool, like nifty, um, you know, on-chain metric that we use. And, uh... Yeah, I'll post this also in the in the chat. But you can also look up like there was a really good website called bythedip.io, but unfortunately it got shut down. Man, Mr. Slap loved that site. He loved that site because they just posted Z scores for you know most coins, and it was pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the other one is from the Wu charts. I actually talked about that site the other day um, because most of the MVRV scores are 
you can't really find them anywhere like on crypto quant and all that stuff they're behind paywalls but this wubull site uh made by this billy Wu guy who's pretty cool he posts a lot of this free stuff he um, posted those really cool like charts with all the lines on them that we looked at the other day look like art right um but he provides some free on on chain um, metric charts on here and one of them is the mvrv if you want to check it out you can actually see the mvrv ratio down here and um how it's kind of bared versus at the other tops right so here mvrv was really high at 5.8 you know at this top up here it was 4.49 um you know up here it was like 3.8 something like that 2.9 and really when you're starting at the bottom you're looking at something like a minus one or minus two to start um like a big run up the lower the ratio the better and that's what they found i think that's it for mvrv there's another chart showing mvrv look into bitcoin um and remember guys i'm only showing you sites that you are, can get for free um you know don't pay for a lot of stuff if there's, you know there's so many good resources out there now that you know you don't need to or just go on Twitter. <laughs> you know, somebody out there who's, who's spent all the money on it will, will, will give it to you for free too. So I know this is really bright. Sorry. So for MVRV for Bitcoin, we can see that up here at the top. Actually, I can't see it now that I mean, so I got to go. I got to go white mode. Sorry. Or Z score according to this model was quite high. Actually, back in March. When we were at this high, it was up to seven. Z-score was seven. Wow. So that's pretty high. It's really high. 6.53. Wow. Oh, what happened? I think I clicked the wrong button. There we go. Um, now, where's our current MVRV? We're kind of getting into the negative. So we're getting closer to a potential bottom here. Looks like the previous times it was at the bottoms. It was like, you know, minus one, six, minus four, two. Minus four five, minus point six, yeah, for the most part. So, you know, according to this model, we are kind of getting closer. But again, who's to say we don't go down to minus two, minus five? You know, who knows, right? So these models you have to take with a grain of salt, because once these things are invalidated, everyone just forgets about them. <laughs> you know, these things kind of become popular once, um, you know, it's kind of like trying to fit someone's agenda. Okay. All right. So let's start looking at some coins and everything. Let's, let's look at Bitcoin, right? Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Most people finish early, but you made it the full distance. That's awesome. If you're looking to learn how to trade crypto, check out one of these other videos.